Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Politics in Plain English. This is your girl, Alberta. I know I have been missing for a while. As a matter of fact, it's been about two years and that's because of YouTube not wanting conservative people on. It appears that my videos were not being seen, but hopefully now uh, we'll see how it works out. I'm hoping they will uh, allow you to see my videos and you in turn click and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's get down to it. There's so many things that have been going on and I wanted to talk to you about and now hopefully we can get back to start it. Uh, well, you know what's going on in the world today. All of us have been on lockdown due to this China virus. I just want to let you know for myself that I actually, I believe I had uh, the virus back in uh, December of last year. I moved, oh yeah, I have to tell you, I moved to Las Vegas, Nevada from San Diego, California. And I moved here last year in November and I actually ended up purchasing a home in, in January of this year. So I haven't even been here a whole year, but I did stay at an Airbnb. So while I was there, uh, it was around December, I started developing a cough and I did all my usual traditional things to try to fight it, but it still was lingering and I couldn't uh, get rid of it. So I finally went to my kinesiologist who, you know, I've been going to a kinesiologist for years. And uh, I called him up and, well, I found one here and I uh, called him up and I went there. As soon as I walked in the door, he had a sign on his office desk, do not take the flu shot. And he explained why. He said that if you take the flu shot, you are much more likely to catch COVID. And this is back when people really didn't know about COVID or what have you. And thank God for our president, President Donald Trump, that he stopped all people coming in from China that had the virus. So had he not done that, probably millions of people could have been killed. So anyway, that's what he did. My uh, kinesiologist had me t uh, take a couple of things. Now I'm gonna share that with you right now. One of the things he had me take was vitamin D. Vitamin D, he had me take this twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. That was followed by liquid vitamin A. And I was only to take one drop a day, followed by vitamin C. Now this vitamin C is emergency. You can actually pick this up in the drugstore, grocery store, Costco, wherever. But uh, whatever it is, you want to take this, and this is very important because it keeps your immune system up. You cannot fight anything without an immune system. And I can tell you, as a retired registered nurse, I worked in 20 different hospitals in the city and suburbs of Chicago. In those uh, areas that I worked, I worked as a surgical, surgical areas, medical areas, uh, OB, newborn nursery, uh, in, in the emergency room, and I even did visiting nursing once I moved to California. So I did all of that in those hospitals and what have you, and I thank God I never caught anything. As a matter of fact, there is no nurse that I know of today or back then that wore a mask into each and every individual patient's uh, room. When we had someone on isolation, it was either respiratory or uh, contact isolation. And that when you go, uh, had the gown and glove up and what have you. And so when I look at people today and they're out here saying they've got to wear a mask, I'm like, you know what, if it's really that contagious, you would have to wear the gloves the whole body set would have to be on, but that's not what is happening. So it, it's a little interesting why they have people doing all of that. But anyway, in all my years, again, I did it for 15 years. I never caught anything. And I went everywhere and took care of every uh, kind of person you can think of, even people with uh, highly contagious AIDS. I had to go to their homes when I was doing visiting nursing and I had to clean the wounds and what have you. 
So all of that uh, I did and I did not catch anything. So everything goes back to the immune system. If you have a fantastic immune system, you're pretty much safe. But if you don't have a good immune system, I don't care how many masks you put on whatever, it's not going to protect you. So you need to get to the foundation of the problem. And the foundation is the immune system. So this is my first video, like I said, uh, in two years. Hopefully you will see this and I have a whole lot of other good topics that I want to get out there, but I'm going to kind of use this as a test run. So if this works out well, you can look forward to uh, seeing me again many, many times, uh, maybe once a week, or I might start doing it even more often. But anyway, I hope you subscribe and share. Okay? Bye-bye.